Alright you guys, got another ransomware video here for you. This one is a nasty ransomware called GoldenEye. It's uh, been associated with Petya. And if you've watched my videos before, you'll know Petya is pretty nasty. And uh, once this gets on the system, it does make changes to the master boot record. And uh, again, you know, if you get this on your system, uh, you are going to be very sorry indeed. Because without paying for it, you ain't going to get your data back. So at the moment, these are getting sent out via email and uh, they could come as an attachment, uh, as a resume or something like that. And you want to be very careful on what you're clicking on. So if you are opening up email attachments, make sure it comes from a reliable source and uh, make sure that you upload it to Virus Total first, maybe, and check it out to make sure it's not a malicious file like GoldenEye. So let's take a look at it. Uh, we're going to right click here and run this as administrator. You can just click on it. It doesn't really matter. Um, it will run. And once this is on the system, as I said, it will start causing havoc. And we can see here already the CPU is maxed out uh, and you get this message popping up on the screen. It will then shut down. And uh, once this shuts down, as you can see, you get it. Uh, this is all fake. It will start to do its deed and there you go master boot record has been changed and you can see you've got this uh, flashing uh, skull and crossbones on the screen so once you push enter as you can see here you've been a victim of the golden eye ransomware and uh, basically it tells you that your hard disk of your computer has been encrypted with military grade encryption algorithms pretty nasty stuff and uh, basically, uh, it wants you to go through the motions here and download uh, the Tor browser at torproject.org. And if you need help, please Google for Access Onion uh, page. And then they want you to put in this here. And even if you reboot the PC, as you can see, you're still going to get presented with this. Now, what they want you to do is use the link on the screen, as you can see here, and they want you to put in that link and they'll ask you for some money and they will give you a code and it will allow you to uh, get your data back. Now again, I wouldn't advise you to uh, purchase uh, these codes and I wouldn't advise you to pay these cyber criminals any money. This is a scam and it is a way of uh, ruining your life basically because all your data is encrypted on that drive. So you don't wanna be paying these cyber criminals any money whatsoever because all it's gonna do is wanna make them make more of these particular types of ransomwares and we have seen a big large increase of ransomwares just of late and that's because people probably are paying for the decryption uh, of their data and as you can see this is the end result they'll just keep creating them so anyway that's just a little heads up guys uh, on the golden eye ransomware there's no point you uh, me showing you removing this it's pretty straightforward to remove but um the trouble is is not no point in removing it if you can't get your data back but what I can do here is I'm gonna boot up to my live CD and this will allow us to see the drive uh, from a WinP environment basically so we can see what's happened to the data so as you can see, I've booted up into a WinPE uh, environment here, which is a live environment. You can see we have um, the drive here, which is infected by that ransomware. And uh, this drive here is what we're going to be looking at. I'm just interested to see whether uh, what happens. It's changed the master boot record and it's uh, hits the drive and encrypts the data. Uh, exactly what they're saying. So we're going to take a look here. I'm going to go into the account. And then we're going to take a look at images and you can see them here now i'm looking here and these don't look encrypted so i'm not sure what's going on here whether it's just been a lucky break that they haven't encrypted them um, but you can see these are all opening um, here okay and also if i go to the downloads area of this drive we'll be able to see so if we take a look at the downloads area you can see all the files uh, are non-encrypted. I'm not sure whether they've just been lucky here or whether uh, whether it's going to do this all the time. It might be worth, if you do get hit with this, uh, to uh, have a good look at a live environment just to make sure you may get away with it. But you can see these are all fully working. There's nothing wrong with these files. They're not encrypted or not damaged. Um, so this is always a, a, a worth having a look 
just in case. It's hit the uh, master boot record, which stops you from getting to the desktop. Um, but basically, if you can get into a live environment, you may be lucky and it may not have uh, encrypted your data. Again, let's just take a look at the desktop here. Uh, documents desktop. You can see here we have the golden eye, that is the actual ransom itself, and you can see it's not changed any of the extensions here. And I can open up all these uh, files here, as you can see. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I just wanted to point that out to you just to take a good look. Uh, if you do get hit with this, remember uh, it is a bit of a Russian roulette sort of approach. I would always back up your data on a regular basis and also keep it safe away from the computer that you're using just in case this doesn't always happen and you do get uh, encrypted and then you, you're pretty much scuppered from there if you do get hit by this and it encrypts your data you've got a couple of choices really just nuke, nuke and pay the machine back to uh, factory settings and lose your data or you paid a, a ransomware which i wouldn't really sort of advise you to do but basically uh, it's worth booting up to a live environment just to check or take your drive out and put it into some sort of a, a docking station or caddy or something like that to see whether there is data on there okay but be very careful because it could still um, encrypt data so don't plug any drives in while you're on the actual computer itself because it could encrypt all that data or, or anything like that okay anyway i'm gonna wrap this one up i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when we do upload new videos. Also, if you've got any promising computers or you just want to join the community, then head over to the forums. The information's on the screen. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page and you use Facebook, then pop over there and give us a little like up and maybe write a little review or something. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.